The number of people who have emailed me in the last few months asking for advice about mostly parts that they've already bought specifically for a Hackintosh only to find that they're not compatible is overly high. So I thought this would be a good time to make a video compiling a bit of a list of parts that you should and possibly more importantly shouldn't buy if you want to build a Hackintosh. But first, if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, I need to make this clear. This video is not meant to be a definitive guide. The world of hackintoshing changes so rapidly and videos can't be updated in place. And I'm also not planning on listing every single part that you should or shouldn't buy. And so this, like I said, not a definitive guide. If you're planning on building a hackintosh, I highly, highly recommend you check out the two links in the description down below. Those are very well written, very well updated links that should cover pretty much everything you need to know. So with that said, let's jump into one of the two big ticket items, the CPU. Now picking your CPU can actually be pretty difficult as not only do you have to consider the best value for money with the, the use case that you have, but also you have to consider how well it's supported in macOS. Now, there is a number of changes that happen very regularly here. So again, refer to the guide for explicit information, but I wanna give you a one big headline, which is do not buy third generation Threadripper CPUs for Hackintoshing right now. While they seem like an amazing value for money, they're currently not supported in OpenCore, which is the bootloader you need to use, and so they just flat out do not work. You will have to run them as Linux or Windows systems for the time being. Now, while you may end up watch, watching this in six months or a year's time when they are supported, at least at the time of filming, Please don't, I've had enough emails. And one other thing I wanna mention on third gen Threadrippers, even if they do get supported, macOS currently has a hard limit of 64 threads. So if you picked up the 3990X, you would have to disable SMT or effectively hyper-threading uh, so that it would only have 64 threads instead of the full 128. If you want a Threadripper, you know, high core count monster as your Hackintosh, then a second gen, something like the 2990WX is still a great option. Now, AMD CPUs in general can work. I've actually shown that in a couple of guides, including one third gen Ryzen recently, but it's important to note that since no Mac ship with AMD CPUs, they're not natively supported in macOS, and so you're doing a lot more sort of emulation of basically Intel cores, and so you don't have as much optimization for the architecture itself. Now, I should mention that there are also a number of other issues that can occur as well. There are some things that can potentially be fixed, like getting the PC to sleep with a number of extra steps, or there's also things that are just completely broken right now, including some Adobe product functionality, which basically can only be fixed by disabling the functionality rather than actually fixing the problem. On the Intel side of things, you're generally safer as you know, Macs have been shipping with Intel CPUs for quite a while. It is important though that you generally stick with chips that are similar to the ones that have been shipped with actual Macs. So that means leaving out any of the X99 or uh, 2011 V three chips that are out there and going with more supported ones, including even more uh, modern ones like the X299, so LGA 2066, and even LGA 3647 chips should work too. So what about graphics cards? Well, they're the second big ticket item and it's quite important that you do not use an Nvidia card. Well, you can use older NVIDIA cards in older versions of macOS, specifically uh, GTX 900 series or older with High Sierra or older. Uh, that's because NVIDIA released web drivers for those cards and that operating system. But if you're planning on running Mojave or Catalina or a newer NVIDIA graphics card, you are completely out of luck. And because of that, it's generally recommended you go with an AMD card here. Now there are a few AMD card vendors or AIBs or board partners that you should avoid, specifically HIS, Paracolor and Vision Tech, and a few XFX models as well, although again, all of those are linked in the description down below. With that said, there are some fantastic choices, including stuff like the ASUS Strix RX 580 that I used in the Threadripper Hackintosh build, and even stuff like the Gigabyte of RX 5700 XT, and a load of other 5700 XTs 
around as well, including from people like Sapphire and MSI as well. Now for the less dangerous parts, starting with the motherboard. It seems to matter a bit more on the Intel side of things which chipset you go with, rather than on AMD which seems to be a little bit more uh, platform agnostic if you like, but at least on the Intel side, it seems you should generally stay away from the Z390 chipset, which means unfortunately none of the latest chips. If you go with Z370 though, that seems to be a good option. And on the HEDT side, again, it seems to be better to stay away from X299, although most of these issues can be resolved with a few extra steps. So again, not the end of the world. As for storage, as long as you stay away from the Samsung 970 Evo Plus, if it's not had the firmware upgrade that's required to let it work with macOS, then you're generally safe to go ahead. You can use NVMe drives, although if you have power consumption issues, of course, there's a kext for that. It's the nvmefix.kext that you can install for that. CPU cooler wise, this might sound dumb, but any CPU cooler that uses USB to control it, including its lighting and its like pump speed and fan speed, that kind of thing. Uh, for example, a Corsair H100i Pro, that kind of cooler, uh, it's generally best to stay away from those as if you do go with that route, then you might need to use a community made driver and tool to actually make it run. So better to stick with a more analog method. Even if you want an AIO, the Fractal Design S24 is a great option instead. Networking wise for both wired and wireless can be a bit of a minefield. Wired is a little bit easier. So on the ethernet side of things, uh, find out what controller your motherboard or add-in card uses. And then if it's an Aquantia controller, then it's generally supported just straight out of the box in macOS. If it's Intel or Realtek, there's generally a kext you can install to fix that and generally speaking the same can be said for wireless although that's a bit more tricky and that's pretty much that now i know that's a lot of information to digest so let me give you the two headline facts one don't buy third gen threadripper right now and two don't use an nvidia card but honestly please just read the damn guide before buying parts for a hackintosh that would be much appreciated. Now with that said, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, then do hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. If you want to support the channel in more ways than just watching these videos and subscribing, then there are a load of links in the description down below, like merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one, and Patreon if you want to get cool rewards and support me directly. I'm also going to leave a few Amazon affiliate links in the description down below to parts that I've recommended. Those are, like I said, affiliate links that take you to your local Amazon store, where you can see pricing when and when you watch this. And I'm also going to leave the playlist, or at very least at one of the two Hackintosh guides, over in the end cards as well. But otherwise, that is pretty much it. Like I said, if you've got any questions, leave those in the comments down below. But otherwise, we'll see you all in the next video.